Hey guys, welcome to the show. 16 inch versus 15 inch i9 versus i9. And I've been testing the hell out of these machines for the last 12 hours non stop. And I've noticed something really concerning and weird. So I'm just gonna leave the tests for the next video, get that there. But I just wanna show you this one thing. Now, the 16 inch on Cinebench, I'm getting scores around 3,200, yeah? And we've got a score of 3,232. And 15 inch, I'm getting scores of 3,000. They got a score of just 3,000. So on paper, you're thinking, okay, that's a 200 point improvement. However, a couple of months ago, in Cinebench, Cinebench R20, I was getting scores of 3,200 on the 15 inch. And with the exact same specs, my friends, the one on the right has finished, it's got 3,172. And I've been monitoring the watt levels going in and out. And the second run through of Cinebench, for some reason, the 15 incher, it drops down to 35 watts of power. On the second run through, for some reason, the 15 inch is only pulling in 32 watts of power. Now, it's got the thermal headroom to pull in more, because look, it's got 85 degrees Celsius. So you can definitely pull in more because you can see that the 16 incher is 95 degrees Celsius and it's pulling in 60 watts. So for some reason, this 15 incher is actually deliberately slowing itself down. Its frequency dropped all the way down to 2.5 gigahertz. Whereas the 16 incher, it can boost all the way up to 60 watts of power. And there's no reason why the CPU of the 15 incher shouldn't be able to get more watts inside it because it runs at 85 degrees when it's getting 35 watts, whereas the 16 incher is running at like 98 degrees. So it's really hitting its thermal limits with that amount of wattage, whereas the 15 incher seems to be artificially constraining itself at 35 watts. I'm not exactly sure when this happened. I don't know if this was a fix for the latest Intel vulnerability for some reason, even though they have the exact same CPUs, it makes no sense why that CPU would do it and this one wouldn't. So something bizarre is going on. So I wanna know if anyone else with a 15 inch laptop is experiencing scores of less than 3000 in Cinebench R20, because for me, my one was getting higher than 3000 and now all of a sudden with the latest updates to Mojave and Catalina, it's now slowed down. Now idle temperature wise, it seems that the 16 inch idles at around 45 degrees. The 15 inch idles at around 55 degrees. So we're just gonna have to start from that base point. So straight up, the 16 inch is able to maintain the 85 watts of power for a couple of seconds, whereas the 15 inch can only maintain it for literally one second and then it has to drop all the way down to 50 watts of power. 16 inch goes to 65 to 60 watts of power draw during the remainder of this operation. Yet the CPU, you can see that the 15 inch is going at three gigahertz at 50 watts of power, whereas the 60, 16 inch is going 3.1 to 3.2 and oh, dropped all the way down to three gigahertz. So this is a definitely a better binned processor, even though they're exactly the same. I've seen variations of up to 15% between the same i9, and you can see right there, three gigahertz, and it's pulling in 60 watts, whereas this guy's only pulling in 50 watts, and it's getting three gigahertz as well. So make sure when you receive your Mac, test out your Macs, and make sure you get a better score than what I'm gonna get on this 16 inch because I'd say this is a low performing i9 model. So coming towards the end of the test, you can see that the 15 inch is maintaining 50 watts of power draw, whereas the 16 inch is getting 55, and we've got a score of 3,232, whereas the 15 inch, they got a score of just 3,000. And that's a bit interesting, because a couple of months ago, I did this exact same test, and I was getting scores of 3,200 on the 15 inch. So I don't know if Apple have deliberately slowed down the 15 inch, or maybe Intel have released some updates, but it's definitely now slower. And with the exact same specs, my friends, the one on the right has finished, it's got 3,172. The one on the left with the exact same specs, the exact same specs, my friends, I'm crazy. What is going on? It's still finishing, it's rounding up, it's got a score, it's got a score of 2,784. On the second run through, for some reason, the 15 inch is only pulling in 
32 watts of power. Now it's got the thermal headroom to pull in more because look, it's got 85 degrees Celsius. So you can definitely pull in more because you can see that the 16 inch is 95 degrees Celsius and it's pulling in 60 watts. So for some reason, this 15 inch is actually deliberately slowing itself down. This frequency has dropped all the way down to 2.5 gigahertz. So that is a, a bit mysterious to me. So it's definitely drawing a lot less watts, almost half the amount of watts as the 16 inch. I don't know if that's to do with a macOS supplemental update where they decide to slow down the 15 inches or what exactly is going on, but that's a bit mysterious right there. So yeah, the 16 inch is definitely faster because the 15 inch is, is being starved. It's only getting 35 watts of power. So yeah, that was interesting. Other things I'll say while I'm still here, eGPU doesn't work on Windows, unfortunately on the 16 inch. Windows just keep on updating their updates and it ruined it. So 16 inch doesn't work with an eGPU in Windows. At the moment, I can't get that working. Uh, the graphics cards on the new 16 inches are very, very good, seven nanometers. They're very good, a lot faster than the 560X I had in my 15 inch. And regarding the VRAM, you can see that I'm already using 85% of my eight gigabytes VRAM. So it is beneficial having more than four. I am using more than four VRAM just when I'm browsing Chrome and just doing simple apps. So having eight gigabytes seems like it will be useful. One thing to be aware of, there is a difference between the base model and the maxed out model or the increased model. So the base model, the maximum fan speed on that one for noise levels is 5,200, whereas the maximum fan noise of this guy is 5,600. So it even gets louder, louder, than the previous test that I showed you. I'll have all of that in the next in-depth review. But yeah, that was uh, a bit interesting. But the biggest thing that I'm just interested about is this whole watch stuff. All right, quick update. i9 versus i9. i9 versus slow down i9 to make the 16 inch i9 seem faster. Hope you guys enjoyed the show.